So in today's video, I took on the impossible task of trying to teach my friend to script in just 15 minutes. Anyways guys, this video took me way too long to subtitle, so if you do enjoy this video, do me a favor and like the video, bro. It helps YouTube recommend my content to the rest of the world. Anyways, enjoy. Alright, I am about to try my best to teach you how to script in 15 minutes. Now, listen. Listen, don't expect to actually learn much, bro. I mean, you might learn like a little thing, but you're not going to know how to do anything, okay? After like after a day, you're going to forget everything, I'm telling you. Okay, because this is just not practical. So, the 15 minutes will start in 3, 2, 1. Okay, all right. So, first thing, first thing I will ask you to do is make a script because we need to make a script. That's the first thing, all right? Okay. okay. Got so, you. so yeah, you know what printing is. So, just get rid of that line, all right? So, oh my God, oh my dude, what are you doing? What, <laughs> <laughs> bro? <laughs> this is not okay. All right. Anyways, um, local. So, uh, let me explain. So, local is not. It's not called local. Okay, they're called variables. Uh, mm -hmm. the reason we put local there is a long explanation that I don't want to get into. So, um. That's not no. Put the the dashes on the left side of the thing to make a comment. Ooh. Not the right side. So dashes on left side make it a comment. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it just right. the script skips it. Okay. Basically, right? Local and space. Let's do like apples. Okay. Apples. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Type apples. Type apples. Like actually type apples. <laughs> Jesus. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Equals. Okay. And then do space like five okay <laughs> jesus it's five all right Local okay apples equals five yeah, yeah yeah okay so basically right um what a variable is is you can assign a basically a piece of text okay it's the best way i can explain to you to either a number or a bool which is basically like true or false so apples equals true or apples equals false or you can set it to a string which is like apples equals like quotation marks something you know what i mean I, I don't know if that's a good way to explain it so really quickly Ooh. just just make like a square like a bunch of squares like actually matter of fact no only make one square all right make one square okay. all right i got a square oh my god <laughs> jesus yo where is it <laughs> okay all right, all right i'm right there uh, click right there. it and hit f okay boom okay so um just make it red for now don't go too hard just yeah all right so that's that's an apple okay so just name it really quickly apple all right with a capital a by the way okay apple okay all right so um 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 go back to the script okay so we're gonna make a new variable called um local do local starter apple so what we're gonna do is make an apple and we're gonna assign okay not make an apple we're basically gonna make a variable for that apple that we just put in workspace okay so uh local starter apple equals okay do equals game dot workspace okay i'm gonna explain this as well but game dot workspace dot apple okay Ooh. so basically what this is all right is the game is the game like everything right now okay workspace mm -hmm. obviously if you move your cursor to the right move your cursor to the right under explorer and just so like move your cursor over workspace right underneath workspace you can see apple so yeah it's it's a child of workspace so we're going from the game to the workspace to the apple and that's how we're getting the apple does that make sense okay yeah yeah, yeah i get okay. that all right okay so that's that variable now every time we say we use that uh starter apple every time we type starter apple we're referring um to that apple in workspace okay so mm -hmm. now we could do uh type oh shoot <laughs> hold on hold on let me uh let me think let me think um i'm gonna teach you loops okay so do uh while true okay, okay. so right while no not <laughs> while true do so okay while like, true do yeah okay hit enter again uh i want to clone we're gonna clone that star apple basically right and make make a certain amount of them okay so do wait one okay just wait in one. here yeah just wait one okay all right now hit enter so you know what wait does i i don't yeah it like okay. makes it wait yeah. one second yeah it, it waits one second before the next line okay so then type okay starter apple 
like this like the same variable basically and then colon okay right. so what this does is it clones the apple but we actually have to set it to the workspace so to do this uh go to a line underneath no wait no no, no like hit enter like you know what i'm saying oh i got you yeah, inside of inside of there. okay so let me explain what wild true do does actually real quick wild true do is basically like um like whatever is inside of there will happen like indefinitely like like it will happen over and over and over like it's a loop okay but that weight basically makes it so that the game doesn't crash because if something is being repeated a bunch of times without waiting any seconds it basically the whole game will crash and it's bad okay so yeah uh do starter apple dot wait no 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 i'm dumb i'm dumb i'm dumb okay no no in in line seven okay do local put local in front of like yeah yeah Okay, do local starter apple clone because we actually have to make a variable for the clone. Okay, we're only using the original starter apple as what the clone needs to be. Do I just write clone like that? Yeah, and then do equal. Okay, okay. so on a line underneath, do starter apple clone dot parent equals workspace, okay? Okay, so what this is doing now is we're basically setting the starter apple to go into workspace when it's cloned. So I already explained what the parent thing is earlier, so I'm not going to yeah. go too far into that, but that's basically what that is, okay? And then now, um, what's another thing? I guess that works now, but say we wanted like the apple or something to be like blue, okay? Because why not? Actually, matter of fact, let's make it a random color. So underneath on line 9... Okay, so we're gonna do starter apple clone. Okay, dot brick color equals brick color. Wait, no, 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 no not color, not color, not color. brick color. Dot random. I believe that's how that is. I I'm gonna look so dumb if that's not how that works. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that is. So what this is, yeah. right? We're basically um, well, brick color is a property, so just like the parent thing where we go from the workspace to the apple we are now going from the starter clone apple that we're making to its property which is brick color that we kind of considered underneath the apple you know what i mean so mm -hmm. uh equals brick color dot random i'm not even gonna explain that to you i'm just gonna say it makes it a random color every time so if you play the game now so just run the game yeah you'll see that every second a new uh, a new brick should appear and it should become a random color okay so i don't know where that block is it's over there oh it's like changing colors yes you see that see the thing is right they're all in each other because they just are uh which is fine i guess but if you like walk over it to like move them you'll probably see a bunch of them pop out uh yeah 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 okay you can kind of already see all right we're not gonna do it again okay just stop so oh so yeah you can see they're all there they're all just getting created every single second okay now stop the game we only have four minutes left bro stop the game so i'm gonna really quickly show you how to use a click detector okay so to do this add a click detector inside of the apple inside like in workspace so go into workspace and just add a click detector now this is probably not the order that you should learn stuff by the way i don't think you should be learning about click detectors before learning like functions or something but you know whatever not enough time for that so you know that when you add a click detector right um basically when your mouse hovers over you'll get that like clicking icon yeah okay so um we're gonna make that actually change the color of the part to something random so again we need to do let's do starter. Do I have to put the script? Hmm? Do I have to put the script in the click detector? No, you don't have to. A script can be literally anywhere that's that the server can uh, see. Now that's a whole okay. other thing. I'm not even gonna get into that. But okay, it's two minutes left. Okay, so basically, right, starter apple dot click detector. Okay. So again, you should understand by now what this is. So yeah. we already have the starter apple which is the variable and then we're going to the click detector which is underneath so um do dot clicked at the end or dot mouse click sorry uh connect function 
So what connect does, it literally connects a function to the event of you clicking something or like to like, it's so hard to explain this so fast, but okay. so basically what you're saying is like, if I click it, then it would do this. Yeah. Yeah. That's basically what it is. So do a parentheses. Oh, it's really, that's not parentheses. That's a quotation mark. Oh shoot. Oh, you mean those? No. Oh yes. 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 That's what I mean. That's what I mean. No, not that, not that, not that. Bro, like a bracket thing that oh my god not that like the like the circular bracket bro come on, you don't know oh. what parentheses is so basically i cut the last minute of this part out because we spent the last minute trying to figure out how to type a parentheses on a 60 percent keyboard because uh well he didn't know what the parentheses button was <sighs> Whenever I press it, it goes out. Like I'm being so serious. I press oh, wait. it and it, like just oh, you, probably, you, have, you might have a sixty percent keyboard or something. Oh, that might be why. No, yo, you got my YouTube chat, man. All right, nah, forget it, forget it, nah, forget it. There's there's thirty seconds left. There's thirty seconds left. Okay, there's not enough time for this. So like, yes, 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 yes. Okay, and then move your your mouse to the right. Boom. That's what I was saying to do. Okay, and then from there you could do starter apple dot brick color equals brick color dot rent. Okay, that's basically what I was trying to say to do. Okay, but I don't know what you were doing with that parentheses, but it was not working. So now we have a changing color part. Now I don't know why you would ever want this, but for some reason you did. There you go. Okay. I mean, like. Maybe for like a certain game, Bro. like you have to like change the color to match it. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, for know. 15 minutes, that's not that bad. I ain't gonna lie, for 15 minutes, yeah. I'll take you. All right, anything you want to say to the boys, okay? Anything you want to uh, say, sub to bub and eat your vegetables. Anyways, guys, if you did find this video in the slightest entertaining, do be sure to go on there and subscribe to my channel. We are so close to 6,000 subscribers. Anyways, YouTube seems to think that you'll like this video on screen, so why don't you click it and maybe, you know, give it a shot. It might be a good video.